congratulations to all of the 2021 graduates of the master's program in learning and teaching, l and Our extraordinary program administrator, Rilda Kissel, and I are so proud of what you've achieved and so grateful that you chose the Harvard Graduate School of Education as your virtual home this year. You came to us from eight countries, from China, Singapore, from India, Kenya and Nigeria, from Italy and Canada and right here in the United States. As I was drifting off to sleep some nights, I would think about those of you who are just getting up to get your day started. And when it was icy cold here in New England, I pictured the warm breeze of the Arabian Sea or the equatorial heat holding me close. When things seemed particularly dark here in the United States during this especially hard year, I pictured a map that had these bright lights showing each one of you illuminating your part of the country with your passion for truth and for inclusiveness. It was comforting to think that some of you were even just a short drive away from my home and are even right now. When each of you applied to the master's program in learning and teaching, you shared your compelling personal stories about the triumphs and the challenges that you had already experienced in your lives. Some of you were coming to us from outside of the education sector formally with goals like improving access to education for economically disadvantaged students. Many more of you were teachers and you conveyed to us your determination to understand learning more deeply so that you could better serve the learners in your care, whether they be bouncy pre-kindergartners or earnest elementary schoolers or adventurous adolescents and adults. So you may have come to us intending to improve the learning of others. But talking with your cohort mate, Nancy Lopez Schreiber this spring, she said something simple that stopped me in my tracks. When she described what had happened for her this year, she said, I know myself as a learner so much better now. And this was the inspiration that I needed to be able to frame my remarks for you today. Because my guess is this is true for every one of you. So whether you're sitting on your couch with your families or enjoying a virtual watch party with classmates, or maybe even watching this as a recording at a civilized hour, I'd like to invite you to ponder what is it that you learned about how you learn best? I mean, this was a year that tested your mettle for sure. Let's just pause. You got your master's in one year, every moment of which the world was reeling from a pandemic. Many of you did this while also having a job outside the home raising and or homeschooling children, caring for relatives, or maybe doing all of these things at once. And despite these challenges, here you are, graduating with your master's in education from Harvard. How is this possible? I was talking with, this, uh, with my mom about this last weekend. She's my first teacher. She's the one who's always been my treasured thought partner as I evolve as a learner and a leader. And she helped me see that a very important part of the explanation of how to thrive as a learner is resilience. For those of you I was lucky enough to get to know through my coaching course this spring, you may remember that we read from Eleanor Aguilar's book, Onward, Cultivating Emotional Resilience in Educators. Aguilar describes resilience as, quote, how we weather the storms in our lives and rebound after something difficult, unquote. So I'm going to do something you don't often see in speeches and certainly not in recorded ones. I am going to pause for 10 whole seconds to give you a chance to allow a word or a phrase to bubble up from your authentic self about what allowed you to cultivate resilience this year. It's 
something came to you, right? Write it down, chat it, text it out, or just say it out loud to the people that might be squished up next to you on your couch holding your hand. You probably have a shelf of books, a hard drive of those downloaded articles, stacks of papers that contain the details of what you discovered about learning and teaching. But when the going gets tough, which of course it will, in the coming years, I invite you to return to your word or phrase as a lasting gift from the person that you became this year. Congratulations. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduates of the Learning and Teaching Program for 2021. The Intellectual Contribution Award recipient for the Learning and Teaching Program, Joellen Persaud. Malvika Agarwal. Ambika Agarwal. Aramide Akintaimen. Claire Eugen Choi. Peter Creighton. Donna Drake Ford. Rubab Fatima. Amanda Hall. Giabi Her. May Lee Hong. Lexi Iverson. Jamie Johansson. Justin Gregory Johns. Wambura Kimunyu. Grace Amalia Kingsbury. Allison Kohlmeyer. Jessica Lau. Lee Shui Dong. Patricia Liu. Nai Liu. Nancy Lopez Schreiber. Lizzie Mann. Shannon Norquist. Kara Olive Hall. Brianna Oliver. Shueli Hong. English Runyon. Ben S. Anna Salzberg. Amanda Somi. Joshua Sparks. Kaylee Spillhouse. Drew St. Lawrence.
Brenda Taylor. Julia Travestino. Connor Troy. Kelsey Turner. Karen Webb. Xiaomei Wu. Quinn Zhang. Yan Zhen. And the Marshal for the Learning and Teaching Program, Karina Traub. All right, so that was a lot of names, a lot of learning, and I just want to kind of honor the past, present, and future. So the past is now the past. You've done all that hard work. We're in this moment of the present, which I just invite you to feel gratitude, feel appreciation for yourself and all the people who made this possible, and then to look ahead to the future. Um, I'm standing right now for the first time in over a year in the Harvard Graduate School of Education with my feet on the ground on Appian Way, and I can't wait till the day that you come back home um, and we get to see each other in three dimensions and you get to just enjoy this community that you are now a part of. I'm so excited to meet you in person and so happy to say one more congratulations on everything you've achieved. Virtual hug. <laughs>